guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a coffee product review. We are gonna be looking at, ta -da, the Fellow Stag EKG uh, electric kettle. So I've had this for a few months and we're gonna be looking at my experiences using it. Do I think it's worth investing the money in something like this? And we can look at how you can customize the kettle um, and the different colorways you can get and just have a little look at the product in general. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the design of the Fellow Stag. So the one thing that really drew me to it is it's not overly complicated. Uh, it's a nice simple design and you've got a very small square base which isn't any bigger than it needs to be. Uh, the whole design is just really sleek and minimal and just quite clean looking which uh, I really liked and I thought would really fit in with the rest of my brew bar. So I really, really love the design of the product. Um, and you can get it in different colorways as well. So I've got the black version, you can get it in white, uh, silver, and like a copper color as well. Um, it's worth noting that you can get a stovetop version of this kettle as well. And the one that I'm looking at is the electric one with the base. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the design and I really, really love how stunning this kettle looks and it fits right in on my brew bar. Okay, so what are some of the key features that led me to buy this kettle? So to start with, this kettle costs about £149 to buy. So it was a bit of an investment, um, but I was using a stove top kettle before and it had its frustrations for me. So I decided to invest in a higher end kettle that offered plenty more features for me. So one of the main things that I really, really love about this kettle is you can just turn the dial really easily and set your water temperature to whatever you want. So your water temperature, uh, if you've got a variety of different coffees um, and you're making recipes for them, or they need slightly different brewing temperatures, you can set it to whatever you want uh, between 55 degrees and 100 degrees C. Um, and you can also switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit um, on the little toggle on the back. And another feature that I really, really love about this kettle a uh, bit of a deal breaker for me is that you can hold the temperature. So there's a little toggle again on the back that you can switch. And basically, if you want your water to be held at 94 degrees C, you can hold it at that and it will hold it for you, basically. It will do that for 60 minutes, um, which is fab, because it means that if you're off doing something else for a minute or you're grinding coffee or weighing beans, your water isn't going to cool down at all. This was also... A big thing for me because I had this terrible habit of like putting the kettle on the hob to boil and then I'd be like yeah I'll just go and grind the beans and then like I start doing other things and then my water had boiled way too hot and it's really annoying and then like by the time I got to brewing it cooled down loads and there was just too many annoyances with a stove top for me personally uh, some of you guys might really like it and I know people who do but for me this was a deal breaker so it's got a nice LCD screen built in the front and it's really clear to see um, your water temperature. And then also when it's holding the temperature, it'll just have hold at the top. So you know it's gonna keep it warm. With it being a gooseneck kettle as well, you've got your precision pouring spout, which is really nice. And then you've got a counterbalance like handle. Um, I've upgraded the handle to a wooden one and I did notice a slight difference in the weight, but it still feels really balanced and really nice to use, um, but with the stock handle that it comes with, um, yeah, that's like balanced basically. And the one thing that is great about this kettle and it's so much fun, it's got wormy. Literally, I don't know why this kettle has it, but it's great. So you can just play wormy and there's like a championship for it and you can submit your time and like go on a, on a leaderboard and be the champion. It's ridiculous fun. So I may have spent a while playing Wormy when I got this kettle. Um, <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. So how easy is this kettle to use? Uh, the short answer, really easy. 
It took a few minutes to set up. You just have to boil some water and discard it. Um, it's just really straightforward to set up. And even with the customizing options, which we'll talk about shortly, that didn't take long to install either for me. It's really, really user friendly and uh, easy to turn on and off. All you have to do is push the dial in and it will turn on. Another thing I really like is this kettle is really quiet when it's boiling. My kitchen kettle is really noisy. Um, this one is nice and relaxing and calm. It's just chilling. Um, and yeah, it's just really quiet. And it's also really speedy to boil as well. So it doesn't take long at all. So whilst it's boiling, you can just weigh your beans out. And then probably by the time you've done, done that and set everything up, it's, uh, it's gonna be ready. Customization. Now we're on to customization. So how can you customize your kettle to make it fit into your brew bar and make it, make it yours basically? So there's a couple of different options. You've obviously got the different colorways um, and then you've got different wooden handles and pulls for the top of the lid. So I've got the walnut version and then you can also get maple. And then I think on Fellows site as well, you can get a variety of different combinations. So yeah, there's lots of different options for you to, to basically customize the kettle to, to how you want. And, um, and that means that it will fit in with whatever you have going on on your brew bar or wherever your coffee setup is. Um, it will just work really nicely with that, which I love. And I love customizing things. And I love making things my own rather than just like a stock product. So to me, that's a really cool feature. So my final thoughts on this kettle, maybe you're a bit like me and you've sat on it for a while. So I, it took me a while to actually buy the kettle. Um, I, I kept like talking myself out of it. I was like, no, 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 the one I've got's fine. And I literally just had like this Amazon, like 20 pound kettle with a thermometer in the top. It was fine. It did the job, it boiled water. Um, and that compared to like 150 pounds on a kettle, I just, there were points where I was just like, oh no, it's too expensive. Um, but since I've got this kettle, I don't know why, like, I just don't know why I didn't get it sooner. Um, it just looks amazing. It's just a joy to use. And I'm very much one uh, on my brew bar. Everything on there has to sort of bring me that joy and uh, be really nice to use and just look really lovely and all kind of fit in. And it fits in like, perfectly with my brew bar with the black and then the wooden features to fit in with my wooden desktop it just works and it just looks stunning but also the usability side of it so it's just amazing to be able to hold my water at the right temperature it's amazing to be able to go no i want this temperature for this coffee um because i've spent a bit of time with it and i want to you know make sure that it's absolutely the best it can be and water temperature is such a key part of brewing um, that it's just a really cool feature to have on your kettle and i mean i'm gonna go and waste some more time playing wormy now because why not basically why not um so yeah absolutely fantastic kettle just the design so minimal clean really nicely built uh, really good build quality and yeah as i've said quiet easy to set up and worth every single penny of that 149 pounds. Uh, I did spend a little bit more because I obviously got the wooden features, um, but everything will be linked in the description box down below for you as per usual. So you can have a little look for yourselves. And uh, yeah, I couldn't recommend this kettle enough. It's just, yeah, it's brought a lot of happiness to my brewing every day. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've got it and it, let me know if you're considering getting one or if you have any questions about this kettle, I will do my best to answer them for you. Uh, I'm gonna go play some Wormy. Bye.